everybody, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. I am over here harvesting some peppers. I mean, look at that one. That one is a beauty. That one is a red bell pepper. And it turned out really nice. But one thing you gotta watch with peppers is that you gotta make sure that the peppers themselves are actually covered by the leaves. So you wanna have a good canopy of foliage there on the pepper plant because you could end up with something more like this. Okay, and that is sun scald. That's a result of when uh, there's too much sunlight on a spot on the pepper and it kind of gets burned by the sun. Uh, and really, the best way to prevent that is with foliage. Now, if you can't prevent it with foliage and you've got peppers sticking out, consider getting like a row cover or something to put over those peppers to make sure that they don't get this kind of damage. Now, on this pepper, can you eat it? Yeah, you can. Just cut off the part that you don't like, you know, this part here with the sun scald damage on it and you can eat just the rest of the pepper. You probably, after you pick it, you wanna use it probably within a day or so, so it doesn't just start rotting away. But I thought I'd share that with you here because, I mean, these kind of things happen a lot. Uh, it'll happen on tomatoes a little bit too, so you, you can look for it there. Let me flip around and show you my pepper plants. So, I had trouble starting my peppers from seed this year. And sorry, just dropped the can. But I had trouble starting my peppers from seed this year, and so I went out and I actually purchased some pepper plants from some local nurseries. And I thought I was getting bell peppers here, and obviously these are not bell peppers, but they're pretty little peppers, they're sweet peppers, uh, they look really nice. I don't love the smaller type of peppers just because the small peppers tend to, yeah, I mean, you, if you're gonna eat them or cut them up like a bell pepper in a dish, uh, they're small and they've got a lot of seeds in them, and so you have to work around a lot of that. Uh, now, but they're tasty, because they're small, there's a little bit more sugar in them. But actually, I just bit into this one here, there's only one little seed there. So, that's funny. But, they can be good to eat. Now over here, I've got more of these bell peppers happening. There's only a couple of big ones on there. And there's one more big one. I like to let my peppers go until they turn completely colored because I love the colored flavor rather than the green flavor. But so there's that one there. So I got a few good peppers today. Not a whole lot. I've only got like three or four plants. And here's a couple other things I picked. There's a little orange bell pepper. And these kind of got they're kind of stumpy. They're a little short, but they still taste good. So uh, when I pulled these off, the whole branch came off, so I actually had to pick one that was a little too early, but that's okay. I can let it ripen a little bit. But peppers are good. Love having them in the garden. I just didn't have a whole lot of success with them this year, uh, mostly a time management issue on my part. I know you can probably identify with that at some point. But I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Thanks for watching this short little video. Remember, protect your peppers with the foliage if you can, and if you can't, come up with some sort of covering on them to help prevent sun scald because you don't want that happening if you can avoid it. So please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.